Okay, here we go. That's it, because I don't want these guys to go to old cafe. Yeah, you should be fucking not, asshole. I think he's the gun. Okay, no, she's still throwing them. Pretty sure you didn't have that last time. Take your sword off. Ten Grand Diva. It's a good thing. Oh, you'll get your sword. So in the Grand Divas. Fucking plane. It's the drill is garbage. Can't run. Please don't copy Sandman. Do not launch your mates into aliens. Him, but the city's still a wreck. And um, Team Dizer are like, oh shit, Emperor Vega's got together with the guys, oh, this is bad. Then the Cape spots something. He's like, you won't get away! We'll fly over to the city. So lands his robot. Next to Kazuki, and he's like, You! I want pay back for what you did to my goddamn dad! And then Aki uh, says that uh, Kazuki blames uh, Kape just as much as uh, for his own dad. He's like, Wait, what? You mean, what are you talking about, his own dad? He's like, He hasn't seen his dad since the first attack, any of his family. They're all fucking dead. He's got to take care of himself, as well as his gang and the girls now. And you bet he blames Kape's family for it. Everybody's lost their homes to the Geysok attack. And then off go, he's like, let's go out here, Michi. And like, yeah, we gotta go because he's our family now. So off they go. All sad. Kepe's crying. Dang it. And his dad tells him uh, that this is the burden that the Jin family have to take on. Their duty is to fight without hope of reward or gratitude. And uh, Cafe's like, but all I wanted was for you to not have to go through that when you just come back after six months. Why didn't you come back sooner? I hate you, Dad. You're garbage. 
and uh, his dad just lets him cry out because he's uh... <laughs> why you come back so baka 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 you stupid idiot dad you shitty meanwhile Sandman is called the Grand Fortress which is the transport ship over here and he says that all of his soldiers are going to space it's like whoa we going to escape the Alliance? He's like, no. 30 minutes ago, Junior 7's orbit began to collapse and it's going to crash into the Earth and kill everybody. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. So, uh, the glory star on the dies is seeming like, what's Junior 7? And the Grand Knight's like, holy, this is bad. And they explained that Junior 7 used to be a space colony uh, that coordinators lived on, but the Alliance destroyed it two years ago. So now it's just a whole lot of space junk. But its orbit has remained stable, so why is it falling now? And Sandman suspects that it's, uh, someone has uh, had something uh, displaced on it deliberately. And uh, almost literal, colony drop. And Setsu goes like, colony drop. And Denzel's like, someone's still doing something that crazy even in another universe? Uh, Julie confirms it for Toshia, and, she, and uh, he wants to go with everybody to stop the group, and Professor Kazami's like, sure. We'll even uh, collect and analyze any of the data. And Tsukikage's like, I'm gonna tell the Alliance so uh, they can handle things here while we go off to space. But how are they all going to fit in the Grand Fortress? But luckily, Hazemont's got the BL-1 and their other ship is the the BL-2 which is um, Keiko's fa- no, I think it's Uchuda's family's. It's the BL-2 from Tokyo Bay. Yeah, and uh, Keiko's family's BL-3 which has been dredged up from uh, Lake Sua. Like, this family have got shit buried all over. So Hazemon, uh, Hazemon instructs Ichitaro to combine all of them into the King Beal, and that should be able to yeah Beal one two three, and that will be able to carry all of our shit because it's fucking big. Oh shit, it's all combining. Yeah, this is the King Beal kid. Now everybody get in. We got to stop Junior Seven from crashing into the Earth, and then. It's going internally. It's like if that colony falls, many of the sort of children lose their parents, just like I did. Well, he's a fucking lot more than that kid. If uh, the the Glory Stars managed to fight Galzok, Setsuka would have got all hyped up, and Dobby would have gone, "Wow, she's all fired up now," and Denzel would have gone, Ooh. And "If we combined God Gravion." Uh, Doug will just be like all business, tell Aina to keep track of the graviton limit timer. Uh, explain, yeah, and then Mizuki says, Togo, they finished the adjustments on God Gravion's new weapons, the Graviton Tornado Punch and the Gravity Crescent. Stand by G Shadow Cockpit. And it was like, hell yeah, you can do it, Lil. And then Mizuki's just like, why, why was she a secret? But, that one's tough, because you got to like, wait a million years.